How's it? Uh, my name is Isaiah Walker, professor of history at Brigham Young University, Hawaii, and the author of the book, Waves of Resistance. Um, stoked to be here today, talk a story about this brother, Prince Jonah Kuhio, on this Anywhere Aloha Friday special. So let's go sit down and um, yeah, aloha. Now that we're comfortable, let's sit down and talk a story about uh, this mo'olelo of Prince Jonah Kuhio. We're actually sitting here on Kuhio Beach and that was just part of his name, right? So this beach just commemorates him and his name. Uh, he actually used to live here. But Prince Jonah Kuhio Kalaniano Ole Pi'i Koe was one of three brothers that were uh, born in, in Kauai. And his grandfather was actually Kaumualii, who was uh, Kamehameha's contemporary. Essentially, he was like kind of the Kamehameha chief warrior of Kauai. And he was also, um, his dad was first cousins to the king of Hawaii at that time, who was um, King David Kalakaua. So he comes from, you know, very loyal, uh, royal lineage. And sadly though, when he was a young child on Kauai, uh, his, his dad passed away when he was seven, and then his mom when he was 11. He was hanaid or adopted by, um, by the king and his wife, Kapiolani, his auntie. And the three boys were then raised by uh, in the royal family. So he was then pronounced, him and his three brothers, so there's David, Edward, and Jonah Kuhio, and they were pronounced princes, right? So, you know, they had a, you know, they had a pretty tumultuous life in their younger years, growing up on Kauai, when they, they went to school on Oahu here at the Royal School, very well educated, in fact. Um, they start off at the Royal School and then they ended up going to, uh, to California, went to, went to school at a prestigious military academy in San Mateo County uh, near Santa Cruz. So while Prince Cujillo and his two brothers were at school in, in uh, San Mateo County, California, they, they actually went surfing there. The first uh, Hawaiians to, or anyone I suppose, to surf in California, 1885. Uh, he was 15 years old and what's interesting is they made their own surfboards while they were there. So there's all these beautiful redwood forests in Santa Cruz. They went to a, a local mill and they got these planks and they shaped them down and made these olo boards. Olo is a style of board, a, a longer board. Like this one was pretty long, like 16 or 17 feet long. And they went out and they surfed in Santa Cruz and had a big, there was like an exhibition. There was a newspaper reporter there that wrote about it and talked about how awesome they were and how cool it was to see these three royal princes surfing. Uh, what that says too, is even though it's one of the early counts of him surfing, the fact that they, first of all, knew how to surf really well, enough to where they could make their own surfboards, tells us that these guys were surfing at a very young age. In fact, on Kauai, there's a break called PKs that's actually named after Prince Kuhio. So growing up on, on Kauai as a kid, and then coming to Oahu, avid surfers, not just that, but they grew up to be very well educated, very well versed in, in multiple languages, in Hawaiian and English, and perhaps even Japanese. After uh, Prince Kuhio went to school in California, he transferred to another school in England, where his cousin Kaiulani was also in England. Uh, rumor has it that he also surfed in England while he was there. Um, came back home and around 17 or 18, he was, you know, hoping to just stay home in Hawaii because they were a little homesick being away from home. Every time they'd come home for a vacation and stuff, they would always find time to surf because his family lived right here at Kuhio Beach. Uh, he eventually had his own home here called Puole Lani, and it was right here on the beach at Kuhio Beach. But when he came back home that time, right after going to school in England, he had a new assignment was to go to Japan. So he lived in Japan for a year and the king of Hawaii, Kalakau, had hoped that he would marry a Japanese princess. Uh, he had other, you know, other interests. In fact, there was a Hawaiian girl named Kahanu that he eventually fell in love with and married instead. But Prince Kuhio, avid surfer, surfed all over the world uh, in the 1880s, which is, you know, lo way before Duke Hanamoku was surfing around the world. Mahalo for joining me today on this Anywhere Aloha Friday. Uh, mahalo to Olukai for allowing me to share this mo'olelo with you about Prince Jonah Kuhio on this beautiful day here in Waikiki. Uh, I'm gonna go hit the waves 
And uh, speaking of waves, my book, Waves of Resistance, check it out. Aloha.